Gratitude is the attitude. Gratitude is the mood. This entire year, we are grateful for the little things. And this entire month, I'm going to be talking about Yoni, right? Because it's National Celebration of Women's Month. So I'm grateful for the knowledge that I have. That's what I'm grateful for today. And I'm grateful that I um, understand the consciousness of all bodies, right? Very grateful. And so part of my knowledge came from learning um, myself, my own body, right? My own body's consciousness. And being a spiritual woman or healer, healer, whatever you want to call it, um, I'm sensitive. I'm sensitive to energy or whatever. And that sensitivity has made it to where I have to have a high level of self-care. I have to do a lot to my spirit, soul, and body pretty often. And part of that um, self-care requires me to be very intimate with myself. Not sexual with myself, intimate with myself where I perform like breast massages, um, abdomen massages, yoni massages, and not with the intention of having an orgasm, but with the intention of saying, okay, what does my body need? Let me help her release, right? And so here's the tip for today. Um, when we massage our breasts as women, we give ourselves breast massages. The, the chest is the center for um, nourishment. It's how we send a signal subconsciously saying, hey, I'm here. I see you. I acknowledge you. I care for you. I'm putting energy back into you. As a woman, I know you put out a lot. You put yourself last, but I'm putting, I'm putting this back into you. But here's the thing that I love about being intimate with yourself. <clears throat> you can then share that intimacy with your partner. And so in relationship, I do require a high level of intimacy. And if I don't have that intimacy, I don't feel safe and I can't be vulnerable and I can't open up, right? And so going back to the breast massages, fellas, ladies and fellas, um, if you participate in massaging your woman's breasts in a way that is nourishing, not sexual, you would give her a firm sense of security and stability, right? So that means creating the atmosphere, whether you guys are in the tub together, whether you guys are in the shower or just getting out of the bath, whatever the case may be. And you're connecting to her face-to-face, eye-to-eye, looking at her, how her body moves when she touches you, right? Um, and letting her know with your touch that she can be that she can relax and be vulnerable, right? Taking your time with her body. Now, what that does to her, again, in the mind, it creates a sense of security and stability. When a woman feels secure and stable, her yoni naturally opens up because she feels safe. She doesn't feel restricted. And so the atmosphere is key. Number one, if it is in some type of water setting, you don't need no R. Kelly, a Luther Vandross, or a Tupac, or anything like that. To nourish the body means to use nourishing tones, like having meditation music, or singing bowls, or something that says, hey, we're getting ready to release the stagnant energy within you. Second thing, this is what I love. Men, if you allow your woman to also massage you in the same way, Men, you have chest, you have breasts, whether they are flabby or firm, you have them. So you being able to be vulnerable enough to have your woman touch you in that way to say, you know what, you out here battling the world, I want to take this off of you too. So you guys are creating um, uh, uh, an environment where you can be vulnerable, safe, and it's intimate. And it doesn't lead to extracting pleasure for the body. Because again, at that time, it's about releasing, creating intimacy, helping the yoni, right? And so a lot of fellas may think like, oh, well, that, you know, I ain't no soy boy. I ain't, I ain't, you know, I ain't with the fluffy stuff. Let me tell you, I've never met a, pain, um, what do you call them, a pit bull or a cane corso who did not like their belly rubbed, right? Right. I ain't never met a great dame who does not like lips, hugs, and kisses. I ain't met one yet. 
So it doesn't challenge or quite make you, you know, any less of a man or an alpha to have your lymph nodes detoxed, right? It doesn't do that. What it does is, again, it creates an environment where you both can be vulnerable. You both can be safe. And you both <laughs> are intimate with one another. And it creates a stronger connection. And when the connection is strong between that masculine and feminine energy, the yoni has good health. That was a long video. I don't, I'm not going to break it down into two. Um, but that's it. And so breast massages, you take your favorite oil if you are, are out of the water. But if you're in the water, you can just use the water, put oil in the water. And you start like with the lymph node here. And you just gradually come down, bringing all the debris in the body forward, rubbing in a circular motion. And again, that even that touching sends a signal to the yoni to release. That's it.